If you want the Masvidal vs Usman fight to happen, then be sure to show this by smashing the like button. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Conner is called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 5 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout! Welcome back everybody to Keenan K TV. In today's video, let's talk about the Kamara Usman vs Jorge Masvidal fight, but kind of look into the future. What if Jorge Masvidal defeated Kamara Usman? You would have a new UFC welterweight champion along with the BMF belt wrapped on both shoulders. And then the questions of how he did it and what would be next would arise. So let's begin from the beginning. In order for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal to have a victory over Kamara Usman and come out of that bout as the new UFC UFC champion, he would need to fight a perfect fight because the manner at which Kamar Usman has been able to go ahead and fight his fight, make his opponents fight his fight, where they would all back up and get overpowered by him, is simply a very big reality that can occur come fight night. We know that Jorge Masvidal is a fighter who came up from the lightweight division, so in this matchup, automatically the naturally bigger fighter, who also happens to be a strong wrestler, will have a serious advantage in that department. Now, given the fact that Jorge Masvidal came up from the lightweight division, automatically you usually means that he's going to be the fighter who is lighter which should mean that his movement automatically is a lot lighter right but those are just pretty much assumptions but in this case for the two it really holds a big weight because the manner at which they both like to fight kind of accentuates what i just said usman is a big strong wrestler likes to come forward uses power big power blows in each fist whereas if you take a look at jorge masvidal he is smooth in and out is able to mix it all up very versatile knows how to kick the legs the body the head every single technique in his arsenal is very well rounded and his ability to be quicker than Usman in this matchup will help him tremendously. So for Masvidal to win, he has to do what he always has done, but he has to challenge the opportunity for Usman to come into the fight less. So he has to go in there and truly neutralize Usman's game plan, whereas he kind of had to welcome Darren Till with him being the bigger fighter and the rangier fighter, he kind of welcomed him to pressure him because he had no other option. He was not going to be backing up Darren Till because he truly is a very strong fighter so he had no other option but against Kamara Usman he has that option if he uses mobility if he uses his footwork if he uses every single technique in his toolbox to his best then I believe he has way more than enough to actually neutralize Kamara Usman's power and his ability to come forward because I believe in this matchup speed can definitely beat power only if speed is on point so in what manner can Jorge Masvidal get his hands raised well I believe the likelihood of him finishing a fighter like Kamara Usman is very realistic. He can do it. He's very quick. He's very unpredictable. And when he lands with the intent of getting a finish, he can do so. Look what he did to Darren Till. Look what he did to Ben Askren, Donald Cerrone, and even Nate Diaz. Every single punch that he threw had the intention of ending the matchup. So for him to go in there and do the same against Kamar Usman is not a far-fetched dream. It is actually a reality. Now, then we have to ask ourselves the question, how durable is a fighter like Kamar Usman? When, for example, Kobe Covington was able to hit him with punches and bunches, you saw that they were actually having a good effect on him his legs started to wobble and he's a very balanced heavy fighter right he doesn't really like to tiptoe on his feet if he gets tipped over in his balance he really has a hard time or a serious time using up energy to get that balance back and maintain dominance and forward momentum he is that type of a fighter so it doesn't surprise me that he is like that given the fact that he's a wrestler but if a fighter like Kamar Usman gets tagged by a Hoya Masvidal blitzing combination it'll be a lot more than just a light tap 
from Colby Covington because Colby is not a power puncher. Colby really likes to bundle up his punches, overwhelm you, drive you against the fence, and take you down. The main problem with that fight was the fact that he was not able to drive him against the fence and take him down. Therefore, his entire perfect game plan scenario kind of went away because he had to fight in a pretty competitive fight knowing that it would be 50-50. But against Jorge Masvidal, there is no 50-50. It is a fight in which Jorge Masvidal at that point can win because in the stamp department, he has every single tool that he needs to beat a fighter like Kamaru Usman. Now, the big question mark comes when Kamaru Usman goes ahead and imposes his physicality onto Jorge Masvidal. His size, his weight, pins him against the fence. What does he do then? Well, it is going to be a lot harder for him to defend that, but he first has to get lined up up against the fence. Given the fact with his movement, he can get out of the way. I don't think that is pretty hard for a fighter like Jorge Masvidal. If he can stay out of the way, if he can hit and not get hit and land the finishing blow, yes, he can defeat Kamar Usman by knockout. But if it's a five round fight, you have to believe that at some points, Jorge Masvidal is going to find himself pinned up against the fence because if he likes to go around and... Um, rope shine that's a term that they use in boxing where a fighter is continuously circling around the ring close to the ropes if Horian wants to do that at some point you must realize that he's gonna lay out his patterns Usman is gonna catch up and he's gonna find a way and so the most important factor in this matchup is the fact that look you gotta go in there not only do you have to be perfect on the outside but you also have to be perfect on the inside you have to demand your respect you have to back up Kamar Usman because as long as Kamar Usman can come forward he's fighting his fight he's fighting a good fight but if he can make him back up fight on the back foot then you have a very winnable fight now with that said let's assume that we now have a new ufc welterweight champion in jorge game brad masvidal what would be next When it comes to game bread Masvidal, it is no secret that he wants to be paid his worth. I mean, the only reason why he wasn't even scheduled to fight Kamar Usman on this card previously was because he felt like the UFC was not paying him enough. And to be honest with you guys, if you're going to be making less in a title fight than what you did against your previous opponent for a fictional belt, would you take the fight also? No. You want to go in there and maximize the revenue that you can make. Therefore, you have to know your worth and sometimes stick to your guns. But luckily for him, everything worked out just perfectly and now he's going to get paid more or just what he wanted to be paid. So the next logical move for him will be another big pay-per-view fight. In this division, the only big pay-per-view fight left for him is Kobe Covington. Now, Kobe just came off a loss against Kamar Usman, but these two, I mean, you don't need to promote Kobe Covington in the manner of, look, this guy is a legit contender. He is the only legit contender right if you want to have leon edwards fight for example kamara usman again that can be a legitimate fight but make no mistake about it if Jorge masvidal wants a big fight that does not lie in leon edwards build leon edwards up first in the meanwhile we can have friends turned into enemies colby covington versus jorge masvidal now that is a big pay-per-view fight and we know Kobe Covington, he comes to fight, so does Masvidal. Covington likes to promote his fights, so does Jorge Masvidal. He doesn't shy away from it. So when these two get matched up, can you only imagine how tough and how exciting this fight will be? Very exciting. Now, let's just say that the UFC doesn't want to give Kobe Covington a title shot for some reason. Then we are left with the notorious Conor McGregor. Now, Conor McGregor clearly doesn't deserve a title shot in the welterweight division, but if you want to talk about a money fight, a big fight, and the opportunity to rewrite history one more time and give Conor McGregor the opportunity to become a three-way world champion, that alone in itself is a pay-per-view worthy fight. Forget about Masvidal, just the show in which you can present Conor McGregor where he goes up and wait one more time and tries to claim another world title that is just pay-per-view worthy alone but then you have a bmf ufc world champion in horia masvidal i mean that is record-breaking numbers in some ways or the other it may not be as big as a habib Nurmagomedov metal fight but it may be just one below that and that's already is record breaking so if you are jorge masvidal you obviously want to go ahead and fight a fighter like conor mcgregor but at the same time if that is not available you still have a good backup and a realistic fight in colby covington and believe you me both colby and masvidal would want nothing more for them to go ahead and compete against one another to put it lightly so if they get the chance i think they will go ahead and do it 100 so a time Title victory for Jorge Masvidal doesn't seem all too bad. A fight with Colby and Connor? Hey, sign me up. But let's look over to Kamaru Usman now. 
where does Kamaru Usman fit into all of this? What is he left with? Now, we have a fight with Leon Edwards, a rematch. Kamaru Usman has already beaten him before, but if Leon and Kamaru Usman can fight one another, I believe that is the best contender fight you can make. Tyron Woodley just lost, Gilbert Burns is out, those two are the only two left. And in my opinion, a rematch fight between the elites will always sell. And aside from that, it is objectively the only logical fight to make. So with that said, Kamaru Usman, he's not in a bad position either. He gets a big UFC fight night opportunity, probably a main event. It should be a main event, obviously. So all in all, the future for the welterweight division, if Jorge Masvidal wins, is in my opinion pretty bright. But it is only time that in the end will tell the truth. For now, this was only what if Jorge Masvidal defeated Kamaru Usman. Leave in the comment section down below who you think will win come fight night. And as always, I have been Keenan from Keenan KTV, signing off. Later.